Who let the dogs out? Listen, there might be many dogs trying to get a place in your life, but I come to tell you today, their time is over. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 14, In righteousness you shall be established, and you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, because it will not come near you. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Somebody say amen. Saints, we are redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. We have been brought out by a mighty hand of God. And His hand of blessing is on us. We are God's beloved. And you are His protector. He watches over you. Somebody say, Amen. God is saying to you today, I'm not your accuser. The Bible says in verse 17 of Isaiah 54, No weapon formed against you will prosper. Every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Don't be cowered by accusations of the enemy. Amen? You know, things are a little bit wrong. Say, oh, you're supposed to be a Christian. I'm a Christian. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. No matter what accusations you bring against me, no matter how many things you can point out that's wrong, I am the beloved of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Who are you to bring an accusation against the beloved of the Lord? Hallelujah. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Amen. When you look at dogs, dog speaks about the accuser of the brethren. When, when God brought Israel out of Egypt, He erased their past. He blessed them. He made a nation of slaves a nation of possessors. Amen. Listen, the church cannot be cursed. The church cannot be defeated. Throughout history, evil rulers have tried to defeat the church. I was just, when I looked at those statistics, I thought to myself, wow, isn't that amazing? Right now, if you think about China, despite Mao Zedong's efforts to eradicate Christianity, and he said, we're going to build a different reality in this nation. Today, there are more Christians in China than in the USA. You cannot defeat the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. It's God who brought us out of Egypt. And when God brought you out of the world, He declared a blessing over you. He didn't bring you out and leave a curse. He brought you out and declared a blessing. Come on, tell somebody, God has declared a blessing. And God will not allow you to be cursed. Look at this. Exodus chapter 11 verse 7 says this. But against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue. Against man or beast, that you may know that the Lord, does make a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Did you hear that? The Lord does make a difference between you and the world. Somebody say amen. God's saying when I bring my people out, dogs cannot wag their tongues against them. They cannot speak with any kind of authority. In fact, they'll be afraid of you. They will respect you. And no accusation against you will stand. No weapon, no matter what they do, the dogs will not wag their tongues against the people that I'm bringing out, says the Lord. Amen. False accusations. We all live in this world. False accusations. Despising. Hallelujah. Belittling. I tell you, in the name of Jesus, that ends now. Amen. You know, Sister Nelly used to always say, if people criticize you, ask yourself, is it true or isn't it true? If it's true, do something and you're still a conqueror. Amen. If it's not true, water off a duck's back. I pray that God called you all to, to develop rhino skin. Amen. The rhinos must not be an endangered species in this house. Hallelujah. 
Rhino skin. Come on, tell your neighbor, develop rhino skin, man. Don't be so easily touched. Don't be so easily offended. Don't be so easily moved. I got rhino skin. You must say what you want, but I know who I am. I know what God called me to do, and I know that His blessing is on me. Amen. Hallelujah. God says, I, you know what God was saying there? He says, against none of them will the dogs wave their tongue. God was saying, I will insulate you against their plans. God was saying, I'll turn all all their plans for good. Hallelujah. Listen, when the enemy comes against you, laugh. Hallelujah. Somebody laugh at the devil. (laughs) Ha, 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 ha. (laughs) <laughs> no matter what you try, it's going to turn for my good. Amen. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. The accuser of the brethren will be cast down. And the Bible says, this is your heritage, that you will rebuke. And that you will cause judgment to come on those tongues. Hallelujah. I tell you, when the enemy comes against you, he's going to experience pain. Amen. Hallelujah. Not no pain, no gain. Pain again and again. (laughs) Amen. The second thing that dogs speak about is that dogs uh, are there to devour the unclean, but not you. Are you with me? Say with me, I'm not dog food. I don't see e Paul written yet. Amen. The Bible says in Exodus 22 verse 31, And you shall be holy men unto me, and you shall not eat meat torn by beasts in the field. You shall throw it to the dogs. Torn things are for the dogs. The scraps is for the dogs. You won't eat eat torn things anymore. You will eat at the king's table. You'll eat the portion of the righteous. Hallelujah. Because God makes a distinction between you and And the world. Hallelujah. There's a shield of protection about this church. There's a shield of protection about the believers. We live in a different atmosphere. We live in a different environment. Somebody say amen. Amen. We live in a different anointing. There's an atmosphere about a believer. It's called an open heaven. It's called the favor of God. There's a a door open of a believer. It's called the the ladder of heaven with angels ascending and descending. The door to the devil is closed. Who let the dogs out? They're not coming to me. Somebody say amen. amen. Listen, there's a different atmosphere over your life. The best jobs are yours. The favor is yours. The promotion is yours. The top position is yours. The blessing rests on you. The Bible says only with your eyes will you behold the destruction of the wicked, but it will not come near you. Why? Because God's blessing is on you and on me. Amen. The worst thing you can do is allow the enemy to tell you God did this to you. God never did it to you. Amen. The third thing a dog speak about is worthless sacrifices. Deuteronomy 23, 18. You shall not bring the wages of a harlot or the price of a dog to the house of the Lord your God for an avowed offering. For both of these are an abomination to the Lord your God. A pr- the price of a dog means worthless sacrifices. It means prayers that God will not honor, not acceptable to God. Listen. No matter what they pray against you, God will not hear. He says it's a worthless prayer. They can sacrifice chickens. They can do what they do. Get little voodoo dolls. They can do what they do. Their prayer will not be heard. God says I view it as an unclean thing. Hallelujah. It's not acceptable. I will not hear their prayers. I will not consider their case at all. From heaven, says the Lord, the desires and the expectation of the wicked shall be defeated. Everything that they planned against you, in Jesus' name, I prophesy, shall fall flat. Amen. Somebody say amen. Why? Because God makes a distinction 
between you and the world. It won't be with you like it is with them. Somebody say amen. amen. God says, I will answer your prayer. In a time when Elisha, the Bible says, think about Elijah. He was praying. He was a man with like passions like us. But when he prayed, the heavens were shut. And for three years it didn't rain. God answered his prayer. But the dogs that came to pray, the unclean that brought their sacrifices, God didn't consider them at all. Until the righteous one said, Lord, let the heavens now be open. I want you to know God considers your prayer. Somebody say, God considers my prayer. Hallelujah. He doesn't, he doesn't consider the prayer. It doesn't matter what they pray. Oh, pastor, they're coming together to pray a curse over me. Who cares? God will not consider them. God will not consider them. Amen. The undeserved curse will find no place to settle. In Jesus' name, they got a boomerang attached to them. They'll return where they came from. They will return void. Every weapon formed against you shall return void. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Listen, Bible says he prayed again. And God opened the windows of heaven. When God hears your prayer, you got it made. Amen. I say, when God hears your prayer, you got it made. Amen. He says, I will consider you. I won't consider them. Doesn't matter what the expectation is. It's amazing. They're always speaking against you, speaking against you, speaking against you. But it can have no effect. And they wonder why. Because the blessing is ours. Promotion is yours. The hand of God is on you. Somebody say, amen, I got it made. Number four, dogs speak of a lower order. It speaks of the ranks of the defeated, the ranks of the outcasts. 1 Samuel 17, 43. So the Philistines said to David, am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. When David came against him with the anointing, he immediately saw himself as a dog. He immediately said, why are you treating me like a dog? In the world, in the natural, I'm this champion. I'm great. And yeah, you come against me in the name of the Lord. And suddenly he was taking on the position of a dog. Dogs are worthless things. Dogs are of a lower order. Despise things. When the anointing is on you, no matter what the enemy has planned, he is immediately de-escalated into the realm of the worthless, the realm of dogs. Amen. Amen. The unclean ones who God won't consider at all. Somebody say amen. amen. When David came, he came in the name of the Lord. And immediately Goliath was put in his place. When the anointing's on you, God puts everything in order around you. He puts people in their place. Don't you just love it when God puts people in their place? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Things look all set against you, and you just pray, and you walk into the meeting, and suddenly they're all in their place. Hallelujah. God's in control. The anointing's on that meeting, and they got nothing to say. They can't wag their little tongues against the Lord's anointed because it will not have an effect. I am blessed. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Yeah. Hallelujah. The unclean's desires will perish. And I want you to know today, no matter what the enemy's brought against you, the desires of the wicked will perish. Your sons will be delivered. Your children will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Your family will be blessed. Yeah. Somebody say, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, there's a difference between fighting a battle and winning a war. Amen. Sometimes you fight a battle, but you win the war. In the end, we stand victorious. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Because the blessing is on you. Contracts that were for others are yours. No matter how they plot and plan, God will make the bottom of the pile the top. Hallelujah. Amen. When the moment you put your, your application in, file 13 comes into operation immediately. 
where the desires of the wicked go to file 13. And the desires of the righteous are granted. Somebody say amen. I am the blessed of the Lord. I said I am the blessed of the Lord. Amen. God's will shall prosper in my hands. Amen. As we go into this next week, I forgot to make the announcement. I might as well do it now. It's a good time. Then in this next week, every morning, right here from 6 to 7, I'm going to be praying the meditations of the wealthy. I was praying for you because last week we were talking about the, the seven steps towards answered prayer. And we're talking about the meditation, talking about having the Word of God settled in your heart, talked about asking, believing, receiving, amen, then standing in there. We spoke about the power of the words of your confession. Hallelujah. And I was saying, Lord, this church needs to go in that. And God said to me, I want you to have a full week of the meditations of the wealthy. And so every morning this week, we're going to from 6 to 7 be here, and we're going to meditate. And we're going to stand in the prosperity of God. And I believe in this week, God's going to release kingdom financiers. God's going to start releasing the blessing and the anointing of prosperity. If you don't have a job, you need to be at 6 a.m. Amen. In fact, you need to be at quarter to 6 a.m. Amen. Hallelujah. And come and pray. Amen. Come and be part of that. Don't be like people who, don't, who are not moved. Jesus said the kingdom of God, sometimes like a man who plays his instruments and the children don't want to dance. Amen. But thank God, when God plays his music, we dance. Amen. We walk. So this week, each and every one of you, you're invited to join me for the meditations of the wealthy. From 6 to 7, every morning, we're going to have a mindset change. We're going to come here. I'm going to establish a WhatsApp group. And through the day, we're going to just keep sending those words. We're going to keep meditating. We're going to have a mindset change. God was saying to me, Johnny, walk them in it. Amen. I believe we need to do something practical with the word that comes our way. So this week, every morning, from 6 to 7, stay in your bed. If you want to stay poor. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I know that duvet is heavy. But you can do it. Tell me, you can do it, brother. You can do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But let me tell you, when the anointing is on you, you are superior. When the Spirit of God is on you, no matter what the enemy plans, all the efforts of the wicked are reduced to defeat. Amen. The anointing that's on this house is breaking yokes. And God gave me this word to tell you this week, the desires of the wicked will perish and the blessings of God will increase. Hallelujah. And you will see the anointing break the yoke over your life. Praise God. Amen. Where you get the favor, curses, accusations, sicknesses are made subject to you. The enemy is under the feet of the anointed. Hallelujah. Think of it. Small effort of an anointed man. Small effort has great effect. Amen. I said small effort of the anointed has great effect. Power and effect. The church needs to learn how to activate spiritual weapons. Because they're mighty through God. Amen. And we're going to do that this week. Meditations of the wealthy. Amen. So we're going to step into that. I declare anointing on you for prosperity. I declare the blessing on you that you prosper and in health. And this church prospers even as our souls prosper. And the abundance of the Lord, the blessing of the Lord God Most High is the portion of the just. Hallelujah. And we are favored above the unsaved. The time for the just to inherit the wealth of the wicked is upon us. Amen. God says they will gather, but not of me. 
So whatever is coming against you this week, I want you to say, this is not of God. Amen. Any curse, anything go wrong, any news that says, oh, this is not of God. They will gather, but it's not of me, says the Lord. When the, when the problem comes, say, who let the dogs out? Amen. Come on, tell your neighbor, when trouble comes this week, ask yourself, who let the dogs out? It's not the Lord. Amen. Come on, look at your neighbor's say, woof, woof, woof. Who let the dogs out? Amen. Listen, don't allow the enemy to intimidate you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When the anointing is on you, the power of God is present to possess the kingdom, to walk in the blessings of God. Somebody say amen. You say, oh, pastor, it's just going bad. Who let the dogs out? Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Amen. It's not the Lord. He is never your accuser. God is not the accuser of the brethren. He is the glory and the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. He is my strong tower. If God is for me, who can be against me? Doesn't matter what has come against me. Who let the dogs out? It's not the Lord. Amen. Someone say, oh, well, you reap. No, 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 no. Who let the dogs out? It's not the Lord. I want you to meditate on this. Isaiah 54 verse 14. In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression. For you shall not fear. God said, don't fear them. Pay them no heed. Give it no attention. Because it's not of me. And you'll be far from terror. Because it will not come near you. Verse 15, indeed, they shall surely assemble. Amen. Amen. You know, you get in trouble when you think no trouble will find you. And I think that's why many Christians get defeated. They said, oh, well, I thought that God's going to wrap me in eau de cologne. Amen. He's going to sprinkle me with eau de cologne, and he's going to keep me safe. No, trouble will find you. Amen. But the Bible says, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. God says it's not my work. Amen. I'm saying the kingdom of God come in this church. The works of God be established in this church. Amen. God's saying it's not on me. He says Who assemb whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. Hallelujah. It's fall time. It's a new season. In America they call it fall. It's the fall. You say, how's it going, brother? It's the fall. Hallelujah. Whatever's come against me falls. Amen. Oh, don't you know that they planned this? Don't you know there's, there's news coming from a far land of great trouble? Who let the dogs out? Not the Lord. It's not of me, says the Lord. My hand is on you for good. Amen. My blessing rests on you. My spirit is on you. Hallelujah. And I will bless you. Then he says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Can you say that? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I shall condemn. Now today I condemn them. Come on, I condemn them. You judgmental voices, you spirits of wickedness, you curses, I condemn you in the name of Jesus. I condemn those voices. I cancel those assignments. I condemn them to fruitlessness. I declare they will not prosper. They will not have a way because God has blessed me. Amen. When you hear trouble from a far land, say, woof, woof, woof. Amen. Come on. That's God's message to you this week. Remember, when the trouble comes, who let the dogs out? Not me, says the Lord. I'm for you. 
I'm with you. I'm against your enemy. When David made a strategic, a strategic mistake when he led his men, the Bible says he left his home, he left his city, and he pursued the enemies and won a great victory. When he turned, he saw his city burning. And when he came back to Ziklag, his parents, his parents, his mother and father, his brothers and sisters, his children, everybody had been taken captive and everything stolen, and his own men turned against him. I said to him, man, you're a bad leader. But when he went to God, I think God asked him, so David, who let the dogs out? <laughs> and David realized it's not the Lord. For thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. You're the strength, you're the glory, and the lifter up of my head. God has not assigned you to a place of defeat. When he came, they said, Lord, what must I do? God didn't say, it's me. I did this to you. Stay in a place of defeat. Listen, if God wants to defeat you, you've got no chance. Amen. You can tata my chance. Do anything you want. You've got no chance. But God is for you. The Bible says David stood there in Ziklag. He'd made a strategic mistake. He failed as a leader. But God was still for him. God said to David, pursue them because you will overtake them and you will recover all. And that's God's word for you today. You shall recover all. Come on, look at your neighbor, prophesy to him, say you shall recover all. Come on, find somebody else and you shall recover all. Hallelujah. Because God says... He says there in verse 17, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. God is for me. God is fighting for us. Hallelujah. And the time of the blessing of the Lord is on you. Listen, no matter who they are, they do not carry the anointing. No matter where they're from, they, they, their plans will not prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today, the desires of the righteous shall be granted, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. When Elijah prayed, the Bible says that when he prayed, the fervent, effective prayer of the righteous avails much. And suddenly there's a turnaround. Somebody say, turn around. When the anointing's on you, small efforts bring great results. When the anointing's on you, a stone in the sling of David overcomes Goliath with a javelin. Hallelujah. When the anointing is on you, no matter who comes against you. Dave, do you know what David, when David took the giant down, he said, I'm coming for you. He had five stones. Go read that. He had five stones. So one for you and one for each of your brothers. There were five of them. Hallelujah. When the anointing's on you, the impossible becomes possible. Hallelujah. 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 Don't let intimidation hold you. Don't say, Pastor Johnny, my fight is so big. Don't you know it looks near impossible? That's when God gets in on the action. Somebody say amen. The anointing is on me with power and authority. The enemy is saying to you, you've had a good run, but now's the end of your run. You've been lucky so far. What luck? The anointing of God is on me. I want you to know the church is not lucky. The church is blessed. Luck comes and go. Blessing lasts forever. Somebody sound blessed. Amen. That's why you mustn't play Zama Zama. It's not because God's, who, who, they play. So. No, you know why? Because when you do, you authorize luck to have an effect in your life. You activate dogs. Amen. It's spiritual. Amen. What the enemy do? He wants to defeat you. What do you do? He put an opportunity there to steal something. Hit the luck. Score. Amen. Nowadays we don't score. Eat a lucky. We do affirmative shopping. <laughs> Amen. 
And you think, hey, check, check this out, they check what I've got, hey, check here. <laughs> Meantime, it was win the prize and get five free demons. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Don't let somebody read your tea leaves. Because if you do, you activate the enemy to act in your future. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 I'm not letting the dogs out. When God gets in on the scene, he lets the angels out. Hallelujah. He says, I will give my angels charge concerning you. Hallelujah. You speak my word. You stand on my promise. You act on my word. And I will line you up with heaven. And I will cause my angels to take charge. I want you to know angels have charge over my life, not dogs. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, we let the dogs out. Glory to God. Amen. No matter how they come against you, there's Gehazi sitting next to Elijah. Elisha, sorry. And he's all worried because the enemy's coming against him. Whole army surrounding them. And Gaza said, they let the dogs out. Elisha said, Lord, open his eyes. He said, God, let the angels out. He gives his angels charge concerning you. There's a blessing on this house. There's an anointing on you to step into what God has prepared for the just. Hallelujah. And I declare in the name of Jesus, you shall inherit your portion. The anointing of God rests on you. You are the favored of the Lord. Hallelujah. When they come against you, God says, not of me. I have blessed you. Amen. I've made up my mind. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. He's not worried. He's not, he's not double-minded. He doesn't change his mind. He was and he is and he always will be my, my Savior, my Redeemer, my Deliverer, the glory and the lifter up of my head. God's hand is on you to possess the kingdom. Amen. Amen. Now, Lord, I thank you for your mighty anointing. Thank you for your mighty spirit. I thank you, Lord, for the blessing of the Lord that makes rich and adds no sorrow. I thank you that the saints inherit the kingdom, that each and every believer experiences your glory. That's the anointing coming on you now. Many of you in this place, you've been surrounded. It seemed like the dogs are loose, but God says it's not of me. Look up to me. I am the glory and the lifter up of your head. Let the anoint. That's it. That's the Spirit of God coming on you now to bring you into your inheritance, to bless the works of your hand. Even if you have a little bit of strength, God says, just ask. Ask and I will bless you. God says, I'm releasing it right now. The little you have is enough in the hand of God. I see a wave of victory flowing over this house. I see a wave of the blessing. I see a wave of prosperity, a wave of the glory, a wave of the anointing, a wave of supernatural abilities coming on you in the name of Jesus. And some of those things worked against you. It seemed like they're over. It seemed like the enemies won. It seemed like it will not be undone. But God says, the words of the dogs will not flourish. Their desires will not stand. I see God canceling the assignment. Supernatural restitution in the house of God. That's it. That's the Spirit of God. <laughs> That's the Spirit of God. That's the angels of God coming back into your life, visiting you. Activate it. Hallelujah. 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 God says glory to glory. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Hallelujah. Brother Kenny, God just keeps saying to me that you've not reached your ceiling. Your business is about to explode, about to expand into new dimensions. 
It's like the enemy said, this far, no more, and you know what's going on. But let me tell you, God says his hand is on that business of yours. Hallelujah. He's going to expand. It's going to increase. In fact, I see God bringing people in. The whole structure around you are going to change. Managers, people set in order. God's releasing a divine wisdom in you, my brother, to administrate the finances of the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Chanel sitting there. As I was speaking, God was saying to me, those things they thought they signed and they sealed up, God says he's already undone it. Hallelujah. Because he does not regard the plans of of the wicked hallelujah you sitting here today you say pastor johnny i i don't know what to do about it lift up your hands and give him praise lift up your voice and thank god realize that god is for you and if god is for you who can be against you hallelujah hallelujah Willem, things are not winding down around you. Things are beginning to prosper. God said the seed that you've sown shall bear fruit. Hallelujah. And I will bless you. Hallelujah. God says to you today, He will not be mocked. But what you sow, you shall reap. Come on, look at somebody say, the time of reaping is at hand. Man, there's a heavy anointing. There's a mantle of glory here. There's a mantle of the Spirit resting on this house. I release that mighty anointing. I release your mighty spirit in this house, Father. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, thank you for the blessing. I see the outbreak of the miraculous. Hallelujah. You know what the Spirit of God said to me? Get ready this week for signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Signs and wonders. The miraculous at such a level that you're going to wonder about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to wonder about it. Your enemies are going to wonder about it. And the fear of you will come on your enemies. Hallelujah. They came one way. They shall flee seven ways. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God said, I let the angels out. I give my angels charge concerning your life. Hallelujah, that's the Spirit of God releasing His favor, releasing His blessing on your purpose. Thank you, Spirit of God. Shembra Kanamaya. Man, I so much want to lay hands on all of you. Whoa. Come on, I'm just going to have to do it corporately because I need to go to Wentworth. But right now, lift your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of God. I release, uh, I thank you for your hand. Now, on your believers, I release, I anoint, impart your mighty blessing in the name of Jesus. This week shall be the inheritance, the coming into the fullness of your blessing. In the name of Jesus, on the outside of the dogs, on the outside of the accusers, but the blessing of the Lord rests on this house. In the name of Jesus, now I'm going to get a man to bother about a big and a buyer. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, say man to bother. I seal you in the anointing. I seal you with the spirit of promise. I seal you in the blessings of God. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say, God, let the angels out. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, God, let the angels out. There's angels all around you, angels activated. The armies of heaven, hallelujah, acting on behalf of the saints. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody say, this week is a week of the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to say to many of you, God's saying to me, the days of your frustration are over. Hallelujah. Do you hear that, Mike? They're over. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God His anointing destroys the yoke. I am blessed. God has blessed me. 
And what God has blessed, no man can curse. Amen. Come on, tell your neighbor, no matter what happens this week, it's not God. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? They will not prosper against me. The blessing of God abides. Somebody say amen.